Yesterday I saw some pretty disturbing news on Australian television. What it showed was that CASA was allowing any person to be able to go to an electronics store and pick up a drone under two kilos and fly it commercially. Now that's not only one of the stupidest decisions I've ever heard from the Australian government, but it's also probably the most dangerous. And let me tell you why. This is the drone that was actually shown on Australian TV, which is actually 2.8 kilos. So it's a bit heavier than what they actually say that CASA can, can what you can get from CASA legally. But if you want to think about it, this hammer here is one kilo. So it's slightly under one kilo actually. So if you can imagine this being 400 feet up in the air and landing on top of your head, that's going to hurt. As a commercial drone operator, we have to go through quite rigorous training in relation to getting our experience in to actually become an operator. Uh, I actually happen to be an IFR rated pilot of real airplanes, but a number, of other, a, a number of other operators may not actually have their own pilot's license, but they still go through quite a lengthy training procedure, and they spend tens of thousand dollars in putting procedural manuals such as these together so that can actually fly commercially. As you can see in these manuals, these manuals actually show all kinds of information in relation to um, risk assessments and job safety analysis and things that we have to perform in order to make sure that the public is safe and that our vehicles are actually performing correctly and they're not going to fall out of the sky. Actually what CAS have now said is that all this information and training here that we've gone through and spent thousands of dollars on is no longer relevant. Just throw it in the bin. It doesn't matter because now anybody can go out there and do this. They don't need to have the training. They don't need to go through any other proper procedures. Now they can take and fly their vehicle up to 400 feet high. That's just stupid and it's dangerous. Our properties are going to get damaged and people are going to get hurt because you're going to have persons who have no knowledge, who cannot control these vehicles, that are actually going to be flying these things in the air over our heads. And I guarantee you, one's going to land on top of somebody and damage or death is going to occur as a result. These things are quite dangerous on their own. You have four spinning props that actually spin at quite a high RPM. Now these things, if you get too close to one, or if you lose control, these things can cut you, even kill you if it cuts your throat. So we're going to take this up now to 400 feet, just so you can get an idea on how high it is to actually go. Now one thing too, before, as a commercial operator, commercial operators actually use what's called a transceiver to be in contact with, the, with anybody, with any air traffic that's actually in the air at the moment. It's notify them that, that we're actually flying in an area. This way, the, air, the people, the planes that are flying, can actually be it out of the way. Now, we've already notified air traffic control of our intentions here, and we're also monitoring. We're actually monitoring the radio at the same time. So, should any air traffic come in the way, we can actually get down. Now, with CASA, what they're saying is the new operators don't need to have that. They don't need to be in touch with the air traffic control or with the pilots that are in the air. Once again, stupid and dangerous. Here we go. We're flying up now, 400 feet. here by unlicensing the drones the commercial operation making available to anybody is stupid it's stupid and it's dangerous the regulations are quite clear if you do not have an operator certificate if you do not have one of these pieces of paper here that says you are the operator of a drone you should not be able to fly commercially in Australia if you are doing so without that it's an illegal operation according to CASA's own regulations, yet they do not regulate it. And what have they done? They capitulated to the retailers who are making billions of dollars off the drones and wait until Christmas time when they're making all this money. And they're also capitulating to all the people who have claimed it's too hard for them to get a license. It should be hard for you to get a license. These licenses should not be given out to just anybody. There's responsibility for the operators who are flying these drones in the air. These things, again, they're weapons. They can kill somebody. They can't hurt you. They can cause damage to property. Once again, this is a one kilo hammer. Imagine this hammer, 400 feet in the air. 
the pilot has lost control because they're not licensed, they don't know what they're doing. This drops out of the sky, boom, that's your head, that's your house, that's your kid, that's your car. That's going to happen. Guaranteed, mark my words. I'm Randy Babel, Managing Director of Digital Drone Images, Licensed Commercial Drone Operator. I'm incensed about this whole situation, about the absolute stupidity of CASA and allowing this thing to go through. Malcolm Turnbull, I hope you get some common sense in you because Bill Shorten should be ripping shreds off of you if you let this go through. Not acceptable, it's stupid, it's unsafe, not a good idea. Safe flying. Good enough.